Hello and welcome to the Muse Talk. My name is Gadede Akusebefia. Here we speak with artists. We get to know their craft, get to understand it, how it started, how it's going and what the future looks like. This episode is brought to you by Sweet Flora, expert in putting your sanitary items together. Things that make you comfortable during the spirit. And the good thing is you get to choose. You get to select what exactly works for you. So let's say your preferred pad, your preferred um, panty liner, your period bag, your water bottle, your heat pad, anything that makes you comfortable during the spirit they will take care of it for you at an affordable price how good can this be don't forget to like comment share and do not forget to subscribe we'll take a quick break we'll be right back hi guys i go by the name abc mason and you are watching the muse talk stay tuned hello everyone my name is nura mohammed known as nura the linguist keep watching the muse talk you are watching the muse talk my name is sebla Hi, my name is An Song, and you are watching the Muse Talk. Hi, I am Bong Kwa, and you are watching the Muse Talk. Welcome back. It's still the Muse Talk, and it's brought to you by Sweet Flora. My guest today is a poet, an actor, a director, a writer, etc., etc., etc. He's one in a million, ladies and gentlemen. Fiber Bernard, how are you? Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, you want thank me to? You, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Oh, fine, I'm fine. Thank Who you. Who is Fiber you. Bernard? I'm good. Uh, Fiber. Fiber is an annoying guy. Mm -hmm. Who is very fun to be with, also. How can you be annoying and fun to be with? Uh, it comes with the package. Complex kakra, but I understand I'm complex kakra, but it's, it's all part of the, the entirety of Fiber Bernard. How exactly it was created. Okay, so um, let's start this properly. Yeah. So take me through your educational background and mm. how growing up was for you. Mm, okay, um, with with education, um, I started at Queen Esther, Satishi, mm. okay, Crutch, and I went to Kings and Queens. I did it up to uh, class four, class four. Then I went to a uh, future graduate. It's also at Teshi. All of them mm -hmm. Teshi. I'm a Teshi boy. <laughs> <laughs> Then from there I went to Nguasinga High School. Oh, Teshi. No, no, Nguasinga High School. Teshi. Yes, actually. Okay. The Twin Cities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nguasinga High School. Then from there um, I did my diploma at uh, Meridian Pre University. Teshi. No. <laughs> Where is that? No, no, no. That one is at um, Dakuman. Okay. Yeah, and then from there I went to AUCC. That's at Adabraka. Okay. Yeah, yeah, basically that. But apart from that, those one is for academic. This one, mm -hmm. but with uh, my talent, my work, that one there. Uh, basically, acting and writing are my basic talents, and those are the classes I went to heaven with. <laughs> so what did you study at the UCC? Um, corporate communication and advertising. Okay. That's so PR. It's, it's all in line with what you do. Right. right. Okay, so let's, start, let's take it one after the other. Right. First, you're an actor. Yeah. How did you start acting? I actually don't know my first performance, because ever since I was a kid, all I wanted to do was to act. Okay. I remember some time ago, and this is when my mother was bathing me, mm -hmm. that that young. And I how told her... How did you even know what acting was? I don't... How did you understand it. that you want to do it? Okay, um, the first ever person I saw and I wanted to be like was Will Smith. Oh. So I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain it's um, when I saw him on... Uh, Fresh Prince of Berlin. Okay. Yeah, so I How knew... How old were you then? I'm sure I was five or six. And you're watching that? You're not watching our local series, our local... Films. I was watching that too. I never miss any of them. Okay. My, my mother used to call me TV Comfo because I could tell which program is coming up with time. Okay. Every single time. Okay. So when they want to watch something or they, they, they are not certain of which, which time, which program is going to play, they ask me, oh, it's a TV Comfo. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that, that, that that's... Ever since I was a kid, I knew I wanted to be an actor. And I loved rap too. So I told my mom, oh, Mom, me, me be investing. I'm a, me actor now. I'm the best actor now, musician. So my mom was like, oh, be a yard, do school. No. Mm -hmm. Papa said, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's important here that I'm academically good. So, why, why wouldn't I want to? But be? why can't you be an actor and still be academically good? Are they acting in Gofoma? I don't know. I'm sure maybe it was, it was the time before. Uh, maybe uh, those people were in, I'm sure it's the lucrative nature mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. Uh, earlier, I wasn't very lucrative like that. Even now, I'm not that lucrative unless you are. You get, you, to, a you get to a particular yeah. point. Yeah. So I'm sure that's 
part of the reason. Okay. Yeah. So from your mother baiting for you and you having the desire to act. Yeah. When yes. how how did the process go for you to actually start doing the real deal? Um in school. I was also part of the drama club. In Nongwa Secondary School. Right from, from primary. Okay. Right from primary ever since. And I, I, I re, not to blow, but I really say this to glorify the name of the Lord that every single time in my grammar club, every single time, even when I'm not in school and they are casting, my role is always waiting for me. Ah. Yeah. So the, all those things give me the confidence that okay, that I'm good at this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've always been part of drama club, staunch member from primary to GSS mm -hmm. to SS till so now. <laughs> okay. So, um, what projects? What acting projects? Have you worked on over the years? Mm, okay, um, I've been in I've been in lots of plays, stage plays, and it's been stage plays because um, those are the scripts that uh, they have challenging roles. So that's oh, so are you saying film? Films um, are not challenging. They are challenging for roles for you. <laughs> they are challenging roles in films. However, I'm not going to the point where uh, I'm going to be gifted those kind of roles. Okay. And even when I go to buy for them, I end up losing it to other people who are more bankable than I am. Sure. That's the reason I don't end up getting those roles I desire in on film. the film. Okay. So many a times, some of the, most of the challenging roles I've done in film, I wrote it myself. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I've played other challenging roles in films too, which I didn't write myself. Mm -hmm. So those ones are a few. But most of the challenging roles I've done is on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Those what, ones. What, most what of roles? What, what roles are those? Um, one of the best is Fences. I played uh, Troy. I remember that play. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that's one of my best roles. He actually matured me as an actor because mm -hmm. I I had to go to depths. I wasn't even f having fun on the set, but then the depths I went to, I went through. No, I, I enjoyed it. I realized that if I actually gave my one hundred percent to it, I would have done excellent job. However. I was able to learn a lot from that role uh, as compared to I would learn from any other role. As, as an actor, how do you prepare for a role? Okay, um, everybody's got their style, they prepare, a role, uh, they prepare for a role. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I read the script a lot, I read it many times. That's how I learn my life. I don't, I'm only able to do the style where they do this and then keep. It's different from MFA, but I'm only able to do that. Okay. I read it, I read it a lot continuously to understand it. Now, when I understand it, now I understand who the character is. Mm -hmm. Then I research to understand why the characters do that. And many times, if the character's um, profession is stated there, it makes it easy for the research yeah. to yeah. understand why they do this. Okay. So maybe they are doing this because they, they work this way. They are doing they say this because they work this way. That one makes the research easy. But if it's open, now you have to do extensive research. And then um, many a times, I think 80% of the times I've performed, I stay in character throughout. Even when someone's speaking to you, you have to respond to the character. That way, it keeps you concentrated so that you put an excellent performance. Mm -hmm. Because uh, one of the bosses I've worked with, uh, Jan, I said that film is forever. It's not like stay where you have the chance to redeem yourself. Yeah. Film is forever. So you have to kill it excellent. Mm -hmm. So I need to make sure I'm always in it, focused. You know, this, this is a very difficult question, but people are of the view that... Um, actors in Ghana are not so good. Hmm. What do you think is wrong with the acting industry in Ghana? Hmm. So take it from the perspective of you being an actor. Right. Forget the directors, forget the writers. You are an actor. Hmm. When you look at your co-actors, what do you think is the problem? Why can't we get to the point we all want to get to? Hmm. Co-actors. Okay, with... Uh, I'll tr I'll try and answer the question. I'll, I know it's I'll, a very make, tough one, but I'll attempt to answer it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll give the appropriate response, okay. though. But I'll, I'll with, with my view on that. I've heard that before, where people say that sometimes it might be that blatantly the person is not um, um, proficient enough okay. with the craft. That's why um, some people too might be talented, but their talent couldn't shine through. That's why maybe they might be termed as being. Uh, not very good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, even though uh, you've told me not to bring in uh, the other technical folks, sometimes to the directing, the directing didn't go well. Okay. Maybe to the editing, uh, it's not shot properly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not cut properly okay. to enhance, enhance the, the actor's. actor's performance. You see, all those things come into play. 
but I'm not sure an actor would blatantly give out a poor performance mm -hmm. because they know their faces out there and well, I'm speaking for myself that's fine mm -hmm. yeah because they know their faces out there and they have to put up uh, this is this is their CV their CV is out there and they're open for everybody to see so that one I'm not sure so however the actors too sometimes they come to set, set unprepared okay so it makes it, it sometimes it even makes the job difficult for a co-actor co -actor. so I think those factors uh, 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 when I say prepare like you know your character properly mm -hmm. you know your co-actors characters properly and you know the motivation behind what they did to your character mm -hmm. and you know how your character should react to whatever um, thing they did to you know why they do the things they do know why they speak in a particular manner mm -hmm. that's the character you're playing know why the character is speaking in a particular manner know how they're supposed to speak know how they're supposed to walk know how they're supposed to laugh all of those things that's you preparing um, you knowing backstories if there's a backstory there are there are ways where you you can create backstory i know uh, friends who always make sure they are creating backstories for their characters yeah. sometimes i do sometimes i don't there's so many ways i can go about it sometimes mm -hmm. i want to understand why he's saying each thing is enough backstory for me mm -hmm. so but all of it the base of it all is prepared so if we the actors we prepare i don't think there should be a problem speaking of preparation do you think um the the, the production team take their time in preparing for for the shoot for instance like table readings, um, preparing the various actors to to bond and know mm -hmm. exactly what you're doing, what what the director is expecting, you know, mm -hmm. result. Do you think we prepare as a as a whole team mm -hmm. in Ghana here before we actually take cameras and go on set so, and film? To an extent, I'll say yes. To an extent, I'll say no. I've been on sets where we did all of that pre-production extensively I enjoy that because me I'm from stage so I like the rehearsal it, it makes you see things yeah. that you didn't see on the page mm -hmm. when you are doing with a co-actor sure. but then there are some people too who don't like that um, there's this actor he's a very excellent actor Robert Patterson he doesn't like to rehearse okay he likes the spontaneity okay but there are actors too who like extensive rehearsal mm -hmm. like Dustin Hoffman he likes extensive rehearsal he even got into a trouble with um, a director because the director didn't give him her his all time before going to before shoot. Before going to shoot. See, everybody's got their their, okay, okay. their, their so style. So what works for you? Yes, then you 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 do it, you do it. But then um, the preparation on the production side, I think that would be technical. Maybe mm -hmm. the film, uh, mm -hmm. how they're supposed to shoot it. Maybe some people would like to shoot just like that. Um, Wes Anderson is, is a director who likes to shoot just the, with the frame. And then all of them will do whatever they have to do in the frame. We cut them to the next set, like that. Some people like extensive, relentless cutting, like David Fincher. Plenty cuttings, you get it. So that way you do multiple things. So all of those, all of those ones. That's so with the technical side, they have to prepare to know that this is the style we are shooting in. Now, but like long takes, this is the style we are shooting in. Okay. So that one is where there should be preparation towards. I take it that you follow a lot of the foreign names because. You never, for once, mentioned the, um, you know, our local um, filmmakers as your point, reference point. Nothing like that. Is there is there a reason why you do that? You follow the for. I mean, it's not bad, but probably yeah, you have yeah. a reason why you you like to follow the for. Before I go people. on, I have you know that um, um, the people I look up to also come from here because um, was our uh, like was me the first person I ever saw. I wanted to be like the second person I saw that. I really enjoy what he was doing. I wanted to be like what Bro was doing it. Okay. okay. So so from there is when I came upon my G Michelle and I ran on the Ajita and I did the Capito. <laughs> the guy's too excellent. Of course, the guy's of course. I want to be like him when I grow up. When you grow up and you'll be like him. You'll be more than him when you grow up actually. Uh, amen, amen. <laughs> so let's talk about you as a writer. Right. How did writing start for you? <laughs> actually I can answer that one. I got that room. I don't know, but... Did you have to study it at a point? Mm, okay. Study it and know the technicalities that I'm supposed to follow. Okay. But then, in it, Leah, yeah, I'm able to write. So is this something you do um, for fun? Like oh. a hobby? Mm, no, writing is difficult. I, mean, I can't do that as a hobby. No, I'm asking because you don't know how it started for you. Mm. So maybe you were just playing um, around and then you got something like, okay, this is good, let me let me keep doing it. And then mm. it became a career. Hmm... 
you know I, i'm only able to pinpoint how exactly i started or made up my mind that okay this is what i know how to do or something but i remember that ever since i was in primary high school my essays were always excellent okay even so if you're natural yeah like i said like i went to classes in heaven for acting and writing any other things because i know how to act mm -hmm. and write yeah, those are the ones I know basically. Uh, I know how to do easily. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. kind of what kind of genre of um, scripts do you write? B mm. play or film? Oh. Okay. Do you have a particular genre you like to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do, I do. Um, drama. That's for sure. I like conflict where two characters don't agree. I like that. Mm -hmm. It makes the dialogue shine through. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, one of my strongholds in so, uh, my strongholds in writing is dialogue and plot. Okay. Twisting the plot in different ways that you didn't expect. Mm -hmm. And writing very articulate dialogues. All my, all my characters like to talk. Mm -hmm. they, 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 uh, my great characters who are intelligent, who are the bows, who have a lot of things to say, who want to get their message across. Most of my characters are like that. Just a few don't talk much. So dialogue is one predominant thing in my writing. Crime. I like crime a lot. Most of the people I like, I look up to, they do crime also. And so I said, okay, right, sweet. Crime, psychological thrillers, thrillers, you know, um, even comedy, uh, dark humor. Okay. We are making fun about abominable things. Mm -hmm. um, someone is in a situation with someone, they are both angry at each other, but what they, the way the situation is going, the, the dialogue, audience are laughing about it. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. So those are the genres. Uh, Do you remember the cool. first play or script you wrote? The yeah, the first remember. one. Yeah, what was it? I was in high school. Before then, before then, if we were, if we were acting, and I realized that we, we didn't use script when when I was in high school when we were at the drama club, we didn't use script. So more I'm, I'm spontaneous. Yeah, yeah. I'm a domain. My uh, drama president then would explain many a times. He would bring a story. If sometimes sometimes he can. Uh, follow me to create stories because okay. he was he realized that I could do that too. Mm -hmm. So um, we would we would use our own lines. We we try to do and we polish it as we go mm -hmm. along. But when you're saying, or if you are not bringing out nice lines in the way I like, I can meet you uh, on the side and then I write some things for you. That will, why don't you say like this? I'll say this way. You say like this, I'll say this way so that we can make the scene rich. Mm -hmm. So I was doing that already. But my first full play that I wrote in high school, too, I was writing some. But I didn't. Know, I don't know where those stories are. Mm -hmm. I can write cry story. But my full play that I wrote in high school, I remember. Uh, it was a. Let me try and make it short. It was a story about two brothers, and they didn't see eye to eye. And the other one was the rich one. The younger one was the poor one. And then uh, uh, they he had an issue of over land. And then the other person had to help the older one who was being mean. Then later on, they came together, not knowing they had, he had already sent people to come kill his younger brother. And even as now, he's cool with him. The people didn't know that he's now cool with his brother. We went to kill him. Okay. And now he realized, he felt lost. Oh. He felt lost. So would you, would, you, would you stage um, that play now, given the, given the chance? Would you do it? I'll have to rewrite it. <laughs> of course, you'd have to rewrite it. Because and we've learned more over the yeah, years. Yeah, 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 yeah. To even make it longer. Mm. You know, Ghanaians... I stand to be corrected, but Ghanaians enjoy comedy more, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. So, do you write your 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 play, your script, for the audience, or you write it just to send the information, whether you get it or not, whether you laugh about it or not? I've written my script and I've staged it, and that's it. Or you write to suit the audience to just come and have a good laugh and go home. I am the audience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so when I write, I'm the first audience. Okay. I, I, I'm writing because I, me, I enjoy the works I do. Mm -hmm. You know, just some to that way. If I had the chance, I'll rewrite them. Okay. Uh, but however, I'm the first audience. If so, when when I didn't finish writing, I sit back and watch it as an audience. Whether I will pay to watch this, mm -hmm. you, you get it. So I understand it's true. Or lately, in the comedy people are enjoying the comedy. It's because the comedians. The people who are doing the comedy are, are doing tremendous work and continuously they are being consistent. Okay. So audience, uh, audience are buying into the idea of they producing comedy continuously. Okay. However, I am of the opinion too that there are people too who also want to see um, other genres too. Sure. They are there because me, I am here. I want to see other genres too. 
and I know I, I can mention lots of friends of mine who also want to see that kind of jobs. Mm -hmm. So when when I write also, not necessarily that I'm thinking about the audience, even though of course they are the bosses. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to please them because we ask them to come and pay to watch us. But I'm the audience too, like I said. So and I know that the pieces I write are um, genre pieces, they are specific pieces. So I know that I'll turn some people on, I'll turn some people off. Okay. I'm aware of that. But because I will turn some people off and they want to be turned on, I won't turn off the people who already turned on about it. Okay. You, you get it. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive me, I get it. Um, so let's talk about the fact that you write, mm -hmm. you act, and you direct your own plays. Right. Is that not too much load for you? It is too much load for me. So why do you do that? Is there can I can reason? I not do it? Like, Maybe no. you can get an equally minded director mm. to to you know direct your plays, but you yeah. do everything yourself. Yeah, that's 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 an excellent point because um, there's been cases where I had in mind to, I didn't mind to um, my first my first uh, stage play that I did at the National Theatre and everything. Stephanie, I had someone in mind to direct, and I even spoke to him. He agreed to come do it because I'm I'm fairly certain that he will be able to take it to the version I had in mind when I was writing. Or even take it further because of the way we I realized that we, we we have similar tastes, but then he was on was unavailable, and mm -hmm. I couldn't trust someone else to kill it the way I wanted it to be killed. Okay. Nobody had the sling enough like that, <laughs> that like the way I thought it would be killed. That's why I had to do it myself. So I understand. Did you, did, you, did you learn directing because you wanted to direct your own plays, or it was part of the whole thing? It was part of the dream that mm -hmm. I want to be a director as well. Or you had to learn it because okay, I have to direct my own thing because I can't get someone to direct it for me. No, I was already directing before the situation of it being that I have to direct my own thing. Like coming, I was already directing my high school. I had even won awards for directing my okay. high school when I completed school. Yeah, uh, best director, like two best director awards, and I was nominated for two for multiple ones too. I won best writer also while directing my mm -hmm. high school. So directing, I, I'm, I was fully aware of that. And I was doing that because I wanted to continually see art, and I wanted to be involved in art okay. continuously. It didn't. It wasn't something that I specifically made up my mind from the beginning to be. Mm -hmm. To be, but then it came along the way because I write also. Mm -hmm. Many at times, people who write also can direct because we direct on the page. Okay. You get it. Mm -hmm. Write on the page to what we are, what we're writing. And me, Monday, I like to direct on the page whilst I'm, I'm writing. So it's not something that I made up my mind from the from the get go that I wanted to be a director, mm -hmm. but it came along the way and I didn't push it aside. I I, I enjoy it sometimes too. I don't want to be the one to direct. Okay. So uh, in, to answer that that that, that question, there there are places that I realize I've written that I know I'm not the one supposed to play the role. Mm -hmm. Recently, I created a, a story, and um, I was speaking to um, my son, my son in the arts. Uh, Willie Chemi, I was speaking to him about it, and then I realized I'm not the one supposed to play the role. I wanted to even change what the character does so that I can't play the role. But then I realized it's not making a story mm -hmm. tight, so I realized I'm not the one to play the role. There are some, there are some ones too that I realized I'm not the one to direct it if I come upon those plays. Oh, so there's, I there's one like that? Yes. Okay, I'm waiting yeah. to see that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then, then I speak to the people who I, I, I see they are best fit for that one. Then I, I do it. It's all about the, the gut feeling. Okay. What do you think about the theater industry in general? Do you mm. think there's a future for it? No, it compared to years ago, mm. compared now to years ago, do you think we've moved forward and we're growing and we're gradually getting to, let's say, Broadway? Hmm. Broadway won't be uh, just a chunk of crap. I, think it's, yeah. I don't see it being that way because. We don't break the bank for it, oh, and I understand. So all all of it is money. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty much sure that that's. So the only thing sure missing here is the money I, I, to make it great. Not not the only thing. Okay, what else? Is that's not the only thing. The 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 um, God, I can't I can't believe I'm going to say this. The 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 creativity too. It's, it's it's a bit stifled. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit stifled. That, that's that's also part of the reason that, um, that most most theatre performers I see not not all though some too I see and I open my eyes. Mm -hmm. 
you don't want dairy enough. You're not challenging yeah, enough. Yeah, you're not dairy enough. But uh, there's this one I remember. I can't. I can't forget it. I saw a beautiful. The beautiful ones are not yet born. Okay. It's actually a, a play written by um, um, uh, Aikuyama. Oh, is it Aiku? I apologize. I'd, I'm not. I'm not very sad. I don't really remember the writer's name. But it's the writer's name I want to talk about. Um, Doctor Ajima. He was the former HOD of School of Performing Arts. Okay. I love his place. God. The man is daring. The man goes to higher heights with little that he has. The way he does it. And it's very psychological. You have to follow. You have to shut up and follow. Mm -hmm. And it takes you differently. And even if you see his same play, different times, it's a different play you are seeing. Mm. You, you get it. He, he has some tweaks to it. The, the different thing. Even he will change the actors. There's so many, so many uh, creative boundaries that he, he oversteps to be able to make sure he's reaching excellence. You see, those kind of um, bizarre way of thinking, making sure the audience leave with something. Mm -hmm. They don't just come and enjoy something and go. No, no, they leave with something. So they go at tattoo at home. I don't know at the money. The money in there is very paramount. It's That's very, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because sometimes the people will be unable to reach the um, creative excellence they are supposed to reach, and they will blame it on the fact that they didn't have enough funds. Okay. They will do that. Yeah. I can speak from experience myself, <laughs> so I understand. It's mm -hmm. true. It's the do. But you are you are a stage actor, and you also do screen. Right. Is there a difference between stage acting and screen, and how are you able to switch from stage onto screen? I know that. Feel. I know that uh, saying. Um, stage is big. Mm -hmm. Screen is small, small, so you gotta do it small, small. for the screen. Yeah. But look, there's one thing, there's truth. So if you're supposed to shout, even if it's screen, you gotta shout. You gotta shout. If you're supposed to say subtly, even if it's stage, say subtly. You know, screen people speak. do that look like they go like, oh, you're from stage, you're exaggerating too much. If the character demands that and it, it befits the scene, there's exaggeration playing to the gallery. So mm -hmm. you're supposed to make sure you don't exaggerate because. because we are people who are borrowing feelings to go and show it to people who do feelings for a living. That's the audience. Mm -hmm. They, they, uh, th th there's someone who works at the, at the, at the uh, um, sawmill for a living. Mm -hmm. They know how it's like there. So when you come and you are exaggerate, they know you are lying. You're lying, yeah. So we are borrowing feelings. There are people who cry because they've lost a kid. The people who have cried because they lost a kid. So they know how it's like. They know how they behaved. Uh, they seen people to people who cried or they seen people to who cried because they lost someone and that's how they even became friends so when you come on stage and you are crying because you lost someone and you are not being real and especially if you scream because screen there's the camera is just here mm -hmm. so if you do any flinching anything wrong they can see it so you're borrowing feelings to go and show people who do that feeling for a living mm -hmm. so when you lie they will see it, they see it. Okay. so you're supposed to be truthful that's what's important it doesn't matter stage or screen um big or small is it truthful? That's all. Wow. Well, now let's talk about spoken word. Yeah. Amazing poet. How did it start for you? Okay. I mean, I was writing poem for fun. That, okay. That, that, that you were doing yeah, for yeah, fun. Yeah, that one I was doing okay. for fun. Okay. So fun to the extent that if you call me, that I should write something. Oh, you write something, come to fun there. Yeah. And you don't check up on me. I don't care. I'm all right. I'm right. Oh, oh, and you know, funny thing, <laughs> the show you are saying I should come, I'll come to the show and come and draw myself too. <laughs> okay. I don't, I was doing it for fun. Then, um, uh, as going on, it's Mutombo. When I saw Mutombo perform, it was when I thought, I know I can do this, man. What he's doing is very beautiful. I, I need to do it. I need to do it too. Then I said, okay, I'll, I'll do this professionally. I'll, 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 I'll do this. I'll do this. So I wrote the first poem. I did that church. Everybody loved it. What was it about? That was your first poem. Yeah, yeah. About? I was, I was. Um, it was an appellation for my godfather, the pastor of the church, okay. Reverend Ashford Smith. Okay. Everybody like he himself loved it. He told me to go and record it for him. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, everybody enjoyed it, and I did another one too. They enjoyed it. Now someone called me to come do a performance elsewhere. They enjoyed it. I met a couple of. I met a uh, DJ who brought me to a lacasa who introduced me. To Sir Black first, okay. Yeah, saying, "Oh, this is his friend." But then I knew Sir Black already when I was doing drama. Okay. When I was doing acting, I seen him. We we've been on the same show before where I performed. I did acting. Mm -hmm. He came to do poetry. The poetry was beautiful. He came to do poetry with uh, Akofo Ejani. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, he was doing the poetry, and then uh, Akofi Jani was enacting. They got to a point where Akofi Jani too did some of the poetry, mm -hmm. and he was uh, playing percussion, something like that. It was a very beautiful performance. But then I wasn't doing poetry professionally, so then when we spoke was when we uh, reminisced back those things, and then I started uh, taking up uh, poetry professionally. Mm -hmm. That's when uh, it started for me. I think I was in 2016. Yeah. That's when I started poetry professionally. But before then, I was writing back, or writing poetry back for fun. Or maybe you, your birthday. Oh, my birthday, so maybe I'm not a fan to me, state to say, okay, mm. I'll write it for you. Oh, okay. Okay. Or, oh, person may girl be, person may throw you, person may surprise you, if you be. Then I'll ask you certain things you want to see in the mm -hmm. piece, or what her name is, I rhyme with her name continuously, or whatever, and I give it to you. Man. But I was doing it for fun, I didn't care about anything. So it looks like writing is like something you do on a regular and you don't do you get writer's block every day every day every oh you do yes yeah, my, my, it. it's my default position okay tell me about <laughs> it how, how do you get it how do you get out of it oh uh, i want to know more about writer's block every time every time because of the way i, I do okay because he likes laughing at me about that because i like to finish writing in my head before i even put the pen to paper okay so when it's not nice and finely tuned in my head i'm, I'm disturbed too nice, it gives me affects my normal life. Crap. Are you one of those people who criticize themselves more? I decline to answer. <laughs> you have to. I, I need to know. Yeah, I decline to answer. <laughs> so when you go writer's blog, how do you get yourself out of it? Um, you stop writing and give yourself some time off? I've done that too before. Sometimes I take a shower. <laughs> Sometimes too, I'll just call my mother and talk to her. Sometimes I'll tell him. I, I wish I was. Okay. My mother would do you, mommy's boy. <laughs> you don't know I'm a gifty. <laughs> <laughs> I just talked to her about it. She'll blast me and maybe it will take my mind off. I think basically it's, it's like trying to take your mind off it so that you feed yourself other things. So um, if the, I've used this style too before, maybe I'm writing about a particular thing. So if the, the you see the creative, there's a creative, if, let me take it that I'm writing about a studio, a new studio. I'm writing about a studio and uh, th there's a creative aspect to it. Definitely, I'm telling a story. You get it? But I'm supposed to use the technicalities of it. I'm telling a story, so I, I'm I'm blocked with how I'm supposed to write a story. I just forget about it. One way I do is go to the thing I'm supposed to write about. You know, the re to like the research material. Just read it for fun. Maybe it will spring up some idea or something like that. Or go out, take a walk, take a long walk. Mm -hmm. When you're tired, you come. Sometimes you even touch, you sleep. Okay. And then you wake up and you do it. Sometimes the idea will come when you are even in the shower. You have to run with your phone, come and, and write, write it down. Okay. Come and write it down, otherwise you forget. You forget. This happened to me several times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So write a block. I don't have a definite way of going away from it. Or yeah, I don't know. Okay. I hear writers are very depressed human beings. Are you a depressed person? <laughs> I decline to answer by virtue of my fifth amendment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What has your journey with spoken word been like? How oh. would you describe the journey so far? Mm, it's not been fun. It's not been fun. Why? It's not been fun. It's only fun when I'm delivering it. That's the only time it's fun. When I get down, it's not fun anymore. Fun. Why is it not fun when, when you're writing it or something? Mm, uh, when I'm writing Christ, no, when I'm learning Christ, the worst. Let when you're trying to memorize it and all. Yeah. Even learning a film script, mm -hmm. which is even 20, uh, 200 and something pages, it's easier for me than learning a, a piece, a spoken word. Why piece. is it so? I don't know why. I'm only able to, I've been able to pinpoint the thing. I've tried to come up with some some theories that maybe might be the reason, but still, I can't tell why. Writing, learning a piece is always more difficult for me than learning a film script or, or a play script or an acting script. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, that's one, one of them. But that's not necessarily the reason it's not fun per se, but a whole lot of things coming together probably make it not fun. Mm -hmm. It's only fun when you are doing the art itself because that place is God working. So God is yeah. making it sweet. So amongst all your crafts, acting, writing, directing, um, spoken word, which one do you love to do the most? It's okay to love all. Yeah, no, it's a nice answer. I'll take it. <laughs> 
I declined to answer. <laughs> really? Why? Why are you doing that? Why are you declining to answer all my questions? I'm sc- I'm scared the one I will not pick will be doing me, will be choking me. No, it's okay. Mm-hmm. By, by now, the other one knows already that you don't like it as much. If they know, I've like not it. said it. They are thinking. I'm not. I've not said it. Is there any other thing you do that I don't know? I know you're an actor. I know you're a writer. I know you're a director. I know you're a spoken word artist. Mm-hmm. Is there anything you do that we are not aware of? It's yet to blossom. I cook. cook? Oh, you cook. <laughs> you're a good cook. Oh yeah, I'm a good cook. What do you love to cook? Oh, any, anything. Just for food, I don't know how to pound because I don't eat for food, so I didn't learn how to mm. pound for food. So, what's your favorite? I can pound like that, I can turn. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, so you cook, what else? <laughs> 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 oh, What's I teach. Your I head. teach okay. also. Okay. Yeah, you I teach. teach. I can coach. Uh, stunts. I mean, stunts? Yeah. Movie stunts? I can do that too. Just that oh, I've not gotten there. So what have yeah. you done in terms of stunts? Uh, in my place. Most okay. of my place have stunts. Yes, of course. And I create them myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stunts. I can create and do stunts also. I like that. I like it. It's fun. Because yeah, it's scary. So it's fun. <laughs> like that. I can do uh, a couple more. I can rap too. I used to. But that one too. That one too is for fun. I used to rap mm-hmm. for fun. Which I regret. Why? Yeah, 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 I just regret. I should have taken it up professionally. You declined the answer. <laughs> 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 I should have taken that up professionally because I can very much say so myself. I was a good rapper. So it's why didn't cool. you take it professionally? I don't even know. Okay, I think the reason I didn't take it up professionally because I love acting. So okay. I'll pursue that more. In school, so I, you I was see, there. you love acting more than you love the other things. You are saying it. I'm not the one saying okay, it. Okay, you continue. <laughs> I'll prove to you that you love acting more. So I was pursuing that more than that. So I was watching it and I was like, no, there's one I need to pursue more than it's this one. So I was pushing that more. In school, I used to rap too, but then that was for fun. I, I was not that more for acting in school. What kind so, of rap did you do? Oh, any, 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 any one or two rap. Any rap there. In English? No, I used to rap in tree. Do you remember small. any of your... I do. Okay, give me one. <laughs> oh, come on, let's go. Don't decline to answer. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay, this is a very old one. Okay. Very, very old mm. one. I, I wrote in, I think, 207. I was a 206. Okay. Me call Brazo, I call you because I had the promo. If you don't need to take free, me your focus. For when you get the publisher, you don't need to know. Why are you not part? You don't need to zone to. From a horse straight to China. Mm-hmm. It is name. I go shaka sadi kung fu. The TP who we pay and was he oh you. Now a car brown me born no work class too. Yan sem rain to play do London. Ba me do or naka to miss naka shuna pong. Who visa me to me and yashi? Oh, you were wrong. Me give you a moment such a limit your dawn. Ha, don't remember about Singapore. Don't remember about Singapore. I want me to do up a lady saw the study for. But they give the face, some of them they study ball. Need me each no say father, please give me some more. Make your mafia, yes, me your dawn. Me did say me chini moko moko bedong. Some of you me di mbag grass ani apong. Keep on the feeling me on and on. Okay, I'm feeling you on and on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when you forget your lines on stage? Oh, Charlie. Like you're doing poetry, you just. It's how we do it, Sarah. Charlie, what do you do? Hey. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, sometimes that happened to me that I was able to overcome it. I'll pause for a while. Audience feel it's part of the act. They are, they don't know I'm suffering. <laughs> <laughs> but there's been cases that it, 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 I was overcome by. It. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I even walked off a live set before. Oof. Was but very, audience, you know. Or... No, they, they they they. I'm sure they 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 realized that I was stuck. But I came back that on that same set to come and kill again. Okay. So some people who knew me they called me like ah what happened what happened with the first one the po- some people too who know me professionally to realize that actually i was stuck mm-hmm. you get it someone too who didn't know said oh the first one is short papa <laughs> okay yeah i don't <laughs> the only thing is you come you are calm but try to replay the ones you have done uh, uh, the lines you've done earlier so that it can sink you into it mm-hmm. that's one way of doing it or, you beat yourself after that Oh yes, oh yes. Or maybe you try another poem. They won't know. Mm-hmm. Then they now told me they say, "Omo nim ya obe yo, ya obe kanye no kreno." So if you change your poem, they won't even know. Just that it's painful because you know you're prepared something. Exactly, there's the pain. Oh, Charlie, you're trying to remember and it's not coming. Charlie, it's, it's some kind of way. <laughs> Would you say that art in general has taken you places on a normal day you wouldn't have been there? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't, I won't get up one day and say I'm going to water again. Who do I know? Maybe I don't you're going for good. vacation, or maybe you work like in the government like sector that. and you've been transferred to the water region. Maybe. Yeah. So arts is the government sector I'm working with, which okay. has transferred me to water. Mm -hmm. I've gone there like three or four times. That's when I realized Buta Regions Beach is nicer than Accra's Beach. Oh, of course, we have the best God, beaches. I didn't want to come back. <laughs> <laughs> the beach is Akita. The beach is sweet. Don't say plenty, don't go there and go in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have gone. I've gone to, I think it's only the northern region I've been going to. Okay. But I've gone to every region it's because of the arts. Now, mm. I'm able to. Uh, I was able to go to school because I was doing art. Um, my pastor took me to university because. I was a good performer in church. Okay. Oh, your pastor paid for your investment? Yes, he did. That's he amazing. paid. For, the same yeah. pastor you? Yes, yes, yes. Ashford, Taria Smith. Was it before or after you did the piece? It was after I did the piece. Okay. It was after I did the piece. It was once he asked me about it. I wanted to, I was thinking of going to Central University, so I wanted him to be one of my referees. So I didn't go back again. And I was like, ah, I thought you were going to bring it for me to sign it. And I said, oh, I'll be telling you other things. It was personal things. Mm -hmm. And it was, he cut me there whilst I was playing, and I said, you don't worry, come, come, come when we close um, church this Sunday. And I, I, I closed, I went there, he just asked me which school I want to go to. I should go and pick the phone and then come. You That's said it. that church there, you stopped that. Aside the fact that that one to you there, I love the church itself. Mm -hmm. Lots of open-minded people mm -hmm. who are not too finching and making you feel like you're a sinner every single mm -hmm. time. Yeah, it's sweet, it's sweet. The, the, some are su some are most of them are helpful. Most of them are concerned, like, with one another. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful in the church, so. Which, which stages have you graced with your art and if there have been any acknowledgements? Hmm. Acknowledgements, maybe, uh, I'm not sure I've had enough like that, but I hope to get soon. But share the little you've had with us, little hmm. beginnings. No, okay, beginnings, okay. Um, I won the uh, best director for directing my high school, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. um, 2013. Um, the following year, too, I won the best writer, too. And I won best writer again. The day I, the year I won the best director, I won best writer, too. I won the okay. best writer again. And it happened at the Art Center. Uh, I've raised the National Theater stage, too, whilst I was in school, as I, after I completed school, too. Mm -hmm. I've done that, too, and they're a very great experience because the audience, the large, more mature audience, also. Um, I performed, like I said, I performed at the Volta region, I performed at the Brown Half region, I performed at the Kumasi, Ashanti region, I performed at the Western region, my, my own region, Central region, several mm -hmm. yeah, Accra, India, yeah, Accountable, um, all of those things. I, I, I find myself privileged to be able to do that, even though it's true, like the hunger in me, I always want to, want to be the best amongst the best. The hunger in me doesn't die. I want more, but I, I won't deny that I, I appreciate what I what what I what I have. Cause most people would like to be where I am today. I know that because I know I would like to be where someone else is today. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate the fact that God has given me this talent and the ability to be able to practice my talent. At least that's enough acknowledgement. Yeah, you know, this question is more of a cliche, but does art pay? You know, I'd like to answer it in a way that I don't. Uh, I'll answer it in a way that I, 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 I don't discourage someone from wanting to be an artist. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to answer it also that, in a way that it will make everybody see that art is um, a profession that you should um, embark on. But since I don't have the specific, the fitting answer to it, let's take what I said as the answer. Oh, you decline to answer. Once I'm on can, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, no. So when you when you um you do all these things, you mm. do your acting, you do your writing and all the things mm. you do, how do you unwind? Do you unwind? <laughs> don't decline this one. I watch film, I watch film. Okay. Watch film. To calm yourself down. Yeah, yeah. I love watching film. I I make time to watch film. I watch mm. films a lot. What does the future look like for you? It's in God's hands. But I, I, wish, I wish I could, you know, reach, reach afar with my art. Because I've said it before in my piece. I want the whole world listening to my art, not just the nearby towns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. the game starts just keep playing with me like some cat and mouse. If we had yeah. no porch, you didn't do smile. 
<laughs> you know it's my favorite, right? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Uh, as of now, I'm, I, I wish, I wish um, that my doors will open. Sure. So that I'll get more opportunities to be able to show the world that I'm excellent at what I do. I'm not just one of those people who, are, who say, oh, I'm passionate and they don't do anything just because they love what they do. They love seeing it being done, so they want to try and do it. No. So, sum it up, it's, it's one last line, my piece be like, uh, the dessert soup is boiling, Lord. It's about time you made the fufu ready, because my needs are to a dessert to make some pounds. pounds. Smile. <laughs> 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 so, can you, do you want to share your social media handles with people yeah. to reach out to you? Okay. They can. It's Fiber Bernard. Fiber Bernard, F-A-I-B-A-B-E-R-N-A-R-D. F A I B A Fiber B E R N E R D Fiber Bernard on all social media platforms everywhere Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Momo. Uh, Momo <laughs> is Fiber Bernard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, come with a number. <laughs> <laughs> follow, follow me there. Follow me there. I'll give you my Momo. I'll give you my Momo now. Thank you so much, Fiber. I really had fun talking with you. Uh, I really enjoyed Ladies myself. and gentlemen, this is Fiber Bernard. I always. You know, I remember telling you that you're a literary work. You need to be steady <laughs> in school. Here's, here's a whole lot. Here's a whole package. Thank you very much for staying with us. This is the Muse Talk. My name is Gadade Aku Sebifia. And it's brought to you by Sweet Flower. Um, they are experts in your sanitary baskets. So whatever makes you comfortable doing the spirit. It could be your preferred pad, your preferred panty liner, your heat pad, your period bag. Whatever makes you comfortable doing the spirit. They will put it together for you at an affordable price. How cool is this? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and do not forget to subscribe. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.